Hello friends, this video on algebra part 7 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. How do we use arithmetic rules with variables? Like when you deal with numbers, you say that uh, numbers are commutative in addition, that is 1 plus 3 is equal to 3 plus 1. Similarly, we talk about many other properties like associative property, distributive property. Now, do these properties hold true for variables as well? So, let us have a quick look. So, when you talk about commutative property, it says it, this commutative property exists for both addition as well as multiplication. So, how does it work for numbers? Well, for numbers, it is something like this. Let's say you have two numbers, 2 and 5. So 2 plus 5 will be equal to 5 plus 2. And if you actually try to find their sum, you would see that in both the cases, the sum is 7. So it doesn't matter what is the order of the two numbers, whether 2 is before or 5 is before, that doesn't matter. But this, their sum would always remain the same. Similarly, commutivity for multiplication would be 2 into 5 is equal to 5 into 2. Again, this in this case also the order doesn't matter. Product of two numbers would always remain the same. Now, what in case of variables? So, for variables also, if you have two variables a and b, a plus b is equal to b plus a. Similarly, if you have two variables a and b, a into b is also equal to a b into a. So that means this rule holds true for variables also. That is the order of the variables doesn't matter. The sum of two variables remain the same. Similarly, the product of two variables is the same whether you, you know, change their order. Similarly, if you talk about associative property, again, associative property exists for addition as well as multiplication. So when it comes to addition for numbers, let, let's first talk about the numbers because for numbers, you have already learned about all these properties. So if you have three numbers, let's say two, three and four. So as per the associative property, it says that two plus three plus four is equal to 2 plus 3 plus 4. So whether you first add the second and third number and then add the sum to the first number or you add the first and second number and then add the sum to the third number. So the result would be the same. For example, if you try to solve this side, left hand side, you would see it is 2 plus 7 which is equal to 9. Similarly, if you try to solve this one, you would see 2 plus 3 is 5 plus 4. So 5 plus 4 is 9. So the result is the same in both the cases. So again, this also proves in a way that if you have three numbers, it doesn't matter which two numbers you add first because overall result is going to be the same. Similarly, in case of multiplication also, uh, it, it says more or less the same thing, just that addition is replaced with multiplication. It says that if you have three numbers, 2, 3 and 4, then 2 into 3 into 4 is equal to 2 into 3 into 4. That means first you find product of second and third number and then multiply it by 2. So this, if you solve it, it becomes 2 into 12, which is equal to 24. In this case, if you try to solve it, it is 6 into 4, which is equal to 24. So the result is the same. And these rules hold true for variables as well. So if you have two variables A, B and C. So if you have three variables basically. So you would need A, B and C. Then you can say that A plus B plus C is equal to A plus B plus C. So this holds true for variables. In a similar way for multiplication, A into B into C is equal to A into B into C. So it's like the same concept or the same property exists for variables as it exists for numbers, at least in, in these properties like the commutative property and uh, the associative property. Similarly, we will talk about another property that is the distributive property. So let's recall the distributive property for numbers. So as per distributive property, if you have three numbers, let's say you have two, three and five. So these are the three numbers that you have. So for these three numbers, if you have something like two into three plus five, that is one number is multiplied to the sum of the other two numbers, then this becomes equal to two into three plus 2 into 5. That is why it is called distributive property because 
2 gets distributed to both the numbers 3 and 5. So that's that's why the name distributive property and then you solve this. So you would see that in this case, if you try, actually try to solve both the sides in these two different ways, the result would be the same. For example, if you write it like this 2 multiplied by 2, 3 plus 5 is 8. So this is 16. In this case, 3 to the 6, 5 to the 10. So this is 16. It is just that this process makes it a little simpler. So this is the property for numbers. So the same property holds true for uh, variables also. So if you have three variables a, b and c then a into b plus c is equal to a into b plus a into c. So like for variables also th this holds true. So you see that in case of variables Now, one important thing that I would like to mention here is when I say that these properties hold true for variables, that does not mean that you can add B plus C because basically the addition and multiplication of variables and constants are very different. For example, here 3 plus 5 could be added, but here you cannot add B and C together. So B plus C will always be B plus C. So what I mean to say is this entire thing which is true for all the constants can be very well represented in the form of variables. So the formula is basically represented using variables or using algebra. So when you look at all these uh, arithmetic rules, whether you talk about the commutative property or the associative property or the distributive property, the property is always written in the form of a formula or in the form of a rule and the rule is always written using variables. So the rule, so whenever you want to generalize any rule, you make use of variables. So that is the role of variables and that is why we make use of algebra. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.